So probably the number one thing that I notice with most of my clients, 90% or more, is that they do not have enough money sitting in a retirement account to live comfortably or even anywhere close to the level they're living at currently now while they're working. So I want to share my screen and show you a really quick tip that I love to share with my clients when I'm going over their mortgage numbers. So in this case, we have a VA client looking at a 6.625 rate that has no points versus over here, a 6.125 interest rate that did have points, about $5,000 to buy that interest rate down. That would save them about $185 a month on their mortgage payment, saving over 30 years about not even $10,000. If you see here, this loan costs about $414, this one about $405. So what I like to show them is taking that extra $5,000 that they could use to buy points and instead putting it right here into an E-Trade account in the S and purchasing S&P 500 stock, which is the top 500 trading stocks in the stock market. In 2023, the S&P had an annual year-over-year -year return of over 25%, but for the past 40%, 40 years, excuse me, it's had over 12%. So if they took this five grand, put it into the S&P in an E-Trade account with no anyone helping them, this can do, they can do on their own. In just 15 years with leaving that money sit still, it would be almost 30,000. So as you can see, just right here, they're only saving about 10 over 30 years and making about 30 over 15. Now, this particular client also wanted to put $1,000 towards the principal of their mortgage, which it's always a great idea to pay one extra payment per year, as this will cut about seven years off of a 30-year fixed rate. But by putting that extra 1000 to the mortgage, all they're really doing is paying that mortgage off faster. But if they were to take that 1000 and put it into the S&P, in 15 years, they would have over a half a million. But let me show you one other scenario. If we look at this over 30 years, about the time that it would take the average 25-year-old to retire, this money now turns into $3.6 million because when money starts to accrue interest, it starts to make money babies. So this is a really quick, easy, and creative way to start using those extra funds that you've got lying around. Maybe take one less coffee per week and instead save that and put it into the S&P. It's a great way to start getting the savings you need for that happy retirement. I would love to chat about you. I'll always include a link that you can set a time on my calendar. I hope you enjoyed listening. Thank you so much.